Let's dive into Ubersuggest itself, starting with the dashboard. Uh, you'll, uh, I'm assuming you've all created uh, a project within Ubersuggest, so you'll see some top SEO opportunities to begin with. Uh, and this is an effort here at Ubersuggest to help you get started, to sort of automate some initial steps for you uh, and give you some findings that Ubersuggest will provide to you uh, so that way you don't have to do all the work on your own. Uh, so you'll see some top SEO issues to begin with, some pages to optimize or keywords to optimize and new content to create. Uh, and as you go along that, um, this is really helping you go from start to finish uh, along that cycle of optimizing your site or your pages, finding keywords, putting those keywords into content and then garnering backlinks. So if you continually repeat the cycle, even if you do nothing else, you, you'll find some success because uh, you're doing something. And SEO is a long-term long -term game. So you, uh, the, the name of it is to be consistent and continually uh, iterate, create content and optimize your pages. Uh, so within here, as you go down, uh, if you do connect with Google Analytics, you'll be able to see your organic traffic uh, over time. I do recommend you connect with Google Analytics. Uh, you'll see with keyword rankings, uh, distribution, your estimated traffic value, which is the estimated value of your site's organic traffic at a given moment in time based on the cost of getting the same traffic through Google Ads. So as you'll see, neilpatel.com has an estimated cost of nearly $250 million uh, of organic traffic. So if Neil wanted to rank for all those keywords or get traffic from all the keywords he's currently getting in organic fashion, so for free, he would have to pay nearly $250 million a month to get that traffic if he were to pay for it through Google Ads. So it's a really cool way to sort of see the ROI uh, on your SEO efforts. You also see backlinks here, uh, your on-page SEO score, which is your site health indicator, and then an overview of your competitors, which you can track and benchmark yourself against, uh, and also look for additional opportunities when it comes to keywords and content. 